I've always wanted to become a boxer. My dad was very military based growing up as a kid, getting up at five in the morning and going for a run. After school, I'd be back into training as well. Because I grew up with it, it's, that's all I really know. I guess I was born for it. And there was a stage where I did give up for a bit due to my wrist. I think once I had the injury, I sort of wanted to enjoy a bit of normal life and normality. Once I got back to the gym, I knew that normality is not for me and it made me bring that fire back again and it's all I've ever wanted since. This gym is something else. A lot of my childhood came from this gym and a lot of dreams were made from this gym. My dad used his whole career here. I've started my career here. A lot of blood, sweat and tears, that's for sure. And it's just got this soul in this gym where dreams are made of. My dad taught me from a young age, the only option is first. There's no such thing as trying, it's, it's, you have to. Me, my brother and my cousin, anything we did, we try to win. For me, it was, that's the norm. You have to be first. There's no such thing as, as an easy ride in boxing. Once you get in the ring, there's no one there that can compete for you. It's just you and your opponent. I remember my first fight quite well. Fought against a really tall opponent. I was nervous, of course. I uh, didn't know how to react. I ended up stopping him in the first round. In the early days in the amateurs, uh, uh, I was a knockout machine. <laughs> the goal for me keeps changing. Before I said world title, you know, I can say multiple world titles. Uh, because at the end of the day, if you set yourself one goal and, and you've achieved it, you're not going to get up in the morning, that's for sure. Being the best is different to be remembered and to inspire people. That's the goal. I don't feel the pressure, but at the same time, I like to have a bit of pressure. It allows me to knuckle up and know that this is not gonna be easy, it's gonna be hard. Boxing is quite universal. There's the same things, you hit the pads, you hit the bag, you do the skipping, you do the push-ups. You know, everyone does the same universal movements, but then once you get in the ring, it's, it's the way the brain works. Our brain works differently. The reason why it's because it's been taught from a, from a young age differently. Reactions, being able to read your opponent, being two steps ahead of your opponent. I don't let the pace dictate me. My uncle pushes me and my grandpa. There's, there's no such thing as bludging in this family, that's for sure. Hey, we about to turn up one time on these boys. They're not ready. What my last name has done was got me to a better position. But at the end of the day, I'm the one that, that's put in the work. I was the one that's defeated all my opponents. And to be compared with my dad, that's a blessing because he's the greatest Australian fighter to have ever lived. I've got the skill, I've got the discipline, I've got the desire, I've got everything to, to succeed, and there's no way that these other boys can beat me. First is the only option.